Hey folks, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. Folks, it's almost Father's Day, and I don't know about your father, but me personally as a father, I love steaks. I would love to have a really nice steak. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't get much better than Low Bells of New York. Look, they sent me this 36 ounce USDA Prime dry aged porterhouse steak, folks. You can have one of these too. Go to their Instagram account. It's Instagram.com slash Low Bells since 1840. They're doing a giveaway. Y'all go check it out. I'm fixing to take this out of the Cryovac bag. Let me let you see some marbling on the other side too. Fix to take it out of the Cryovac bag. And we're going to let it bloom for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to season it. We're going to throw it on the DCS gas grill. Should be a great one. I know this food is some kind of fine. We'll be right back, folks. All right, gang. This is that steak. It's all bloomed up now. And I've got a lemon right here. Let me show you a little trick. Actually, learn this from little bells. Take your lemon, okay? You rub the fat. Squeeze the lemon, rub some, some lemon juice all over this fat layer right here on the outside. And what this does, it keeps your fat from, from browning and getting all burnt. So we're gonna check it out. Now, we need to season this up. So first thing we need to do is put a little bit of olive oil on there. So let's do that. We're gonna do both sides. All right, now in here I've got some salt, pepper, and garlic. We're gonna toss some of this right over here. SPG, folks, that's good stuff. That's a chef's blend. All right, so we're gonna do the other side just like this. We'll meet you right back. All right, gang, here we go. I got my DCS grill screaming hot. And I just wanna tell you, when you got a bone in steak of any kind, you're gonna have a hard time getting grill marks on it because the bone protrudes from the height of the meat. So it actually keeps the meat from getting on the grates. And if you get some grill marks, fine, but it's not gonna be perfect. So we're gonna let this go a little bit. And if you see some flame up like that, that's fine. This is a nice thick steak. And I'll let it come up to room temperature for uh, about an hour or so. And that's what you want to do with a thick steak like this. And you can also reverse sear this. I'm not showing that tonight, but you could definitely reverse sear this and it would turn out wonderful. So I'm going to leave the lid open. I've got this as cranked up as high as I can, so we're probably pushing uh, 900 to 1000 degrees on the uh, temperature off of these, uh, you know, off the DCS grill here. We're just going to let this go for a few minutes and we'll be right back. All right, folks, as you can see, USDA Prime, a lot of fat content. She flames up, don't worry about it. It's been three minutes, we're gonna flip it over. We'll put it on a little bit different spot. Press it down a little bit just to try to get that meat to, to get on that grill and get some grill marks. So we're gonna let it go for another three minutes. We'll be right back. All right, folks, there we go. We're fixing to check some temp. It's still 74, 75 degrees. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it, put it up on the bread rack. We're gonna cook it slow, but we've got some grill marks on it, so that's what we need right there. So we're gonna put it up on this bread rack, and we're just gonna cook it indirect for, uh, I don't know, until it's done. I'm trying to get it to about a 125, 135 temp. So let me do that, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, got a little bit of uh, real butter and garlic in here. Just gonna spread this over the top of this steak. I just pulled it off the grill. And it's gonna lie, give you a lot of more flavor, I tell you. It's good stuff. Fabulous steak. Fabulous steak smells wonderful. We're gonna tent it in full for about uh, 15 minutes. We'll be right back. All right, gang, my steak's rested over here. Let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Let's just cut right down the middle right here. Oh, man. There you go. And I'll tell you another thing. With these uh, USDA Primes, it's still got some pink in the middle here. So this is, this is almost looks like a medium well. But if you let this thing sit, it's like the red will come through. In fact, you can probably see it as we're talking. It turning more and more red. So this is probably more like a medium, actually. 
So let's check it out. Let's take a bite. All right, folks, let's check this out. This is the end cap I just told you about. Hmm. <laughs> folks, that's pure goodness right there. That's heaven. Oh, let me show you this. I told you. When the uh, slice sits, it turns a bright red. So that's what you're looking like. See if I can get some light on there for you. This is not well done. This is a nice medium. USDA Prime cooks a lot different than Choice or Select. So be careful with it. When you're grilling it, it's got a lot more marbling. Flames up. You need to watch it. It cooks faster. So be careful with that too. Folks, this is excellent right here. I'm telling you. It doesn't get any better than Little Bells of New York. Folks, give me a thumbs up. Hope you sub. If you like the video, hope you go ahead and share it. Tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly, folks. And don't forget to go to lilbells.com slash Troy Cooks to see all my videos that I've done for Lil Bells. And if you want to get in the free giveaway, I'll put a link down below. But it's Instagram. Go to Instagram.com slash Lil Bells since 1840. Y'all need to enter. It's good stuff. We'll see y'all next time here at T-Roy Cooks. Later, folks.